Here at the intermediate stage, we need to incorporate a loop into our backswing. What are the advantages of the C-shaped loop? By taking the C-shaped loop, we can play the ball in this high position because we're already up. If the ball can, comes lower to us, we can drop the racket down and continue on and play the ball in the lower position. Cameron here has a good loop on his backswing. This enables him to play the high ball easily. In these shots, hit with a loop swing, I have great timing. Since I have a continuous movement, and can assess when exactly to make my swing into the ball. I'm easily able to play the ball at varying heights, and my loop, having a longer swing arc, is really creating great momentum for power. My loop also gives greater leverage for even more power. See the great leverage for power Cameron gets from his loop swing here. Do not loop too high on the forehand, just here is fine. On the backhand, the loop is a little bit lower on the one-handed backhand, like this. I repeat, be sure not to loop too high. On a fast court, this will make you late on the shot. You two-handers out there, start here, and you'll develop plenty of leverage into your shot. See the leverage for par Cameron gets through the take back of his racket here. If you start too low and you're coming straight back in here, it's tough to generate any real leverage into the shot. Another advantage of the loop swing is that it gives great shot selection. You can easily choose whether to hit the flat drive, the topspin drive, or the slice or chop shot. <laughs> 